Hello everyone, we're making it here. Now, let's continue. I was about to say goblet, but wrong game and wrong franchise. Kiss anyone. Kiss What's going on? Oh. So yeah, how is everyone? How is everyone doing? Good, bad, we're feeling disgusting. Hang in there, everyone. Oh. Well, uh, well, would you look at that, guys? Ridley. I kind of feel sorry for Ridley, guys, in this one. Oh, and the boss, the last boss. She, no, no. Semi boss. The one that's approaching Ridley kind of reminds me of Biolanti from Godzilla. Even though that creature appears in the Game Boy and then uh, the new version. Here we go. Kiss any man. Oh, guys, my uncle's not gonna be here, yeah, like until next week on Saturday? Okay. Or Sunday. Hang on. It's because, uh. Oh, look. That's because, yeah, he's gonna take care of my sister's apartment. So, yeah. It's because sometimes some. You can't trust neighbors nowadays because. Fucking idiots. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be. A, I bet it be, I mean, bleh. it's gonna be. It's been a long time that I. I'm gonna be by myself. Like, oof, a long time ago, back in 2011 to 2013. Uh oh. So it's been a long time. Oh yeah, in 20, no. 2010. So almost like what, 11 years? How many motherfuckers are you? So, yeah. Yep, 11 years. Really Just for a whole week, guys. 
Pero... Y ya. Nada, que fue en el igual ya entra para mesa linda. Sí, what's up with you? My baby says, yeah, she's going to do Disney World in California, the Democratic California. <laughs> Just joking. Yep. Poor Ridley. Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. Ridley Scott. And then in my baby says some power banks here because the moron doesn't buy any, so I'm like, oh yeah. familiar guys? Yep. Oh LeBron James. Back to back, bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna fight the boss. It's Biolanti. Here we go, guys. <clears throat> First, gotta get rid of the metrics. Down. 
No! God damn it! Uh oh! Nope, that's not gonna work. Oh, damn it. Freeze them off at all. Why are you putting up some? Ah, oh, motherfucker. She's pissed. Biolanti.
Here we go, guys. Uh-oh. But Nancy doesn't do that, but whatever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh! Come on! Alright! Oh, bitch a bitch! Come on! Oh, chingo! I don't know why she goes into... Oh yeah. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Oh, crud. Why you always go morph ball, Samus? Pink trick, bitch. Oh, oh, okay. No. Uh oh, 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 pinch away. Damn it. Yeah. Take that, Biolante. <clears throat> I know it's funny me calling you Biolante. But it's not. Black brother Adam. Sorry guys, it's just, <laughs> just checking my phone, it's fully charged. 
Man, get a bit. Here we go. And my favorite part. No, no, no! Bombs away! Batman! I know I got I got a little bit carried away, but you know how it is. But. <laughs> I enjoy my game so much. That wasn't so bad, right, guys? When I could just have more energy tanks. Where are you going, lady? I just kicked this boss's ass. Oh. Closer until you say so. My name is Samus. I'm an independent bounty hunter. I know the situation here and I know how you must feel. I'm here to secure your safety. What's your role at this facility? I'm responsible for all operations. My name is Madeline Bergman. Wait a minute. I met another woman who called herself Madeline Bergman. What's going on here? What you met was M.B. She's an android. She was created with the intellectual data of Mother Brain and consequently developed Mother Brain's consciousness as well. What? The Federation's foolish plan. Mother Brain's rampage. Everything that happened here was just as Madeline, or rather M.B., had told me. The person who sabotaged the system to stop MB's rampage and sent out the distress call had to be the person standing before me. It had to be Madeline Bergman. MB was the artificial intelligence originally developed to regenerate and control Space Pirate Special Forces. Because we wanted it to control these special forces through telepathy, we were forced to model its infrastructure after Mother Brain. At that time, MB didn't have a human form. Before long, we started to see the viability of creating Metroid clones. Once we did, MB started to take on her current shape. But why? Because we needed the first Metroid hatchling to recognize MB as its mother, she had to take on the form of a living thing. With that as our theoretical basis, we were able to create the ideal relationship with the Metroid. One that wasn't based on dominance or control. I remember the baby hatching before my eyes. When it attacked Mother Brain in order to save me, that was the result of the kind of ideal relationship they were trying to develop with NB. They found the perfect means of control and started propagating Metroids in Sector Zero. <clears throat> At the same time, 
They were conducting genetic manipulation experiments to create unfreezable Metroids. Apparently, the queen I met earlier was the first of these propagated Metroids to mature. Yep. They wanted to preserve her as a control specimen, so they had left her genes unaltered. Violating. The fact that she'd grow into a queen was something not even Madeline and her team could have predicted. Only special infants had the genetic coding to become queens. Once our MB was in a human form, she excelled. As an interface between us and them, her skills with personal interaction humanized her to a great extent. If my theory is correct, this is going to be round Yep, she's mother bitch. Her confidence was unwavering, and her ability to learn was greater than we'd expected. But then... She developed emotions, then a nascent sense of herself. She began asserting her own thoughts and her opinions began to conflict ours. It's quite typical for artificial intelligence to evolve as a result of self-analysis. However, there's no precedent for an AI like MB developing emotions. It's possible that her interactions with the Metroids brought it about, but we don't know for sure. The newly hatched infant took to her like his mother. And perhaps at that moment, MB began to develop a soul. Kind of like us. Newborn kid. It was all conjecture. But the idea wouldn't leave my mind. And that was when we decided to alter her AI program. A human-like existence, but one without feelings. To make NB less than human, the researchers had to deny her that consciousness. I knew this, but in my heart, I felt sympathy for NB. The only one. On the day we were going to alter MB's program. Right before my eyes, I watched her being restrained. Stop! What are you doing to She reached out to me and asked me for help, but there was nothing I could do. What's happening? My presence that day caused a disturbing reaction in her. She was fixated on me. Madeline had taken to calling Envy Melissa. Supergirl. She took the initials MB and told the AI they stood for oh, Melissa Bergman. It looks great on you. MB liked that name. It made it sound like Madeline was calling her her daughter. <laughs> Once she felt abandoned and hunted by that same Madeline, MB telepathically commanded the special forces to revolt. The facility fell into complete chaos. And suffered widespread damage. <laughs> MB was trying to get revenge on the Federation Army. And on us. It's possible all humans have become the target of her hatred. With the space pirates under her control, she was able to propagate the Metroids in Sector Zero, even creating a Queen Metroid. She was well armed and planning her attack on the Galactic Federation. But Adam and I crushed her plan completely. And now, who could guess where she was and what she planned next? She's backed into a corner. And her hatred is entirely focused on you and me right now. <gasps> MB!
Wait, MB, calm down. Please listen. Madeline, step back. <clears throat> you, I mean, we were wrong. It's all over. Madeline! I was not wrong. The humans were foolish, and I was forced to bring judgment on them. And yet, because of you, I failed. You must understand the weight of your crime. You must pay the price for what you've done. Please, MB. We have to get past this. No. You will all be judged. It's okay now. I won't ever fail you again. I promise. I'm so sorry. When did it start? Melissa. Melissa, it looks great on you. That's your name. Go guys.
lets me know which areas I should concentrate my objections. <laughs> I heard what happened. You performed admirably. You can leave the rest to us. that his entire unit was annihilated. Truly a tragic day. Would you agree, Aaron? Sadly, with them gone, you're just an outsider. And given your unofficial status, I cannot allow you contact with the witness. With your predilection for transporting illegal cargo like infant Metroids, I must ask that you restrict your... <laughs> Time for the lady to go home. Someone escort her. Yes, sir. Time for us to go. Come on, princess. You know who it is, guys. What? Stop right there. Who are you? Yes. Anthony Higgs, sir, Galactic Federation Platoon 7. I need to secure the safety of any survivor, Commander Malkovich's order, and the purpose of this mission. What? Authorized by the Chairman of the Galactic Federation. Of course. What do you mean, the Chairman? Man, you guys made it here quick. I mean, if I hadn't stopped the engine, we might have missed each other. Hmm. <sighs> Crazy. Crazy how something good can come out of something bad. Well, didn't mean to wake her. Guess I ought to be quiet. Anthony was trying to be courteous to Madeline. She was exhausted and had only just fallen asleep. She needed the rest. She had a lot of explaining to do once she got to Galactic Federation headquarters. For herself and for Melissa. Still can't get my head around. What a crazy mission. <sighs> Anthony sighed as he muttered to himself. What would have happened if we hadn't been called in? Might the furious MB have attacked the Galactic Federation and brought about its utter destruction? Melissa wasn't insane, no. One day, a consciousness simply bloomed within her. And those that caused it to bloom, the humans, called it insanity. I was the insane one. That was what Madeline muttered softly as she sank into sleep. The selfish conceits of humans drove envy to violence. It was their distorted perceptions and greed that awoke such fury in the fledgling girl's heart. Her thought was to punish the foolish and conceited. But MB could not complete her mission. As Melissa, she was defeated. 
cool rankings. With their one vulnerability overcome, the Metroids were indestructible. If some fool just following orders had taken the savage creatures to those who sought them, I can't imagine what would have happened if Adam hadn't recognized them in danger. The cost was far too great. Why did Adam have to pay with his life? For me, I couldn't believe he was dead. For the first time, I questioned his choice. No objections, right lady? I heard Adam's voice in my head. And I knew in my heart that he had made the right decision. Just as he had so many years ago. In that moment, I swore not to grieve his death. And for the first time, I gave him a thumbs up just in case he was watching over me. As I'm injecting into Lydia's armpits, I want to space my injection at least one to two centimeters apart, and I have to deposit a certain amount into each... His amused expression looked as though he wanted to say something. His face and Adam swirled together. That last smile as Adam drifted away. Enjoy the credit scene, guys. I don't care what anybody says, kids. Uh, yeah, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. If you never play it, then you don't have the right to criticize. But if you play it and enjoy it, hey, you know, by all means, the power to you. Pero, if you say, oh no, it sucks because this or that, but did you play it? That's why some people back in the day, like during my uncle's time, that this religious group was criticizing this movie and they never even fucking watched it and they're just criticizing it. I'm like, dude, and how do you know it sucks? Or how do you know it offends Jesus Christ or God himself or whatever? The legal of this. But the reason I love this game most is because it explores Samus, pero what lacks between Mario, um, Luigi, no way, Luigi was of course, he's a scaredy cat. Mario was, he's more of like a scare, uh, well Mario's like a more like a cheerful man. Pinch was she's a crybaby. And I always get scared of that. Uh, Whatchamacallit. Daisy was she's a tomboy. Uh, 
um, plus Captain Falcon, plus he's a bounty hunter, and plus of course he, uh, he does what a bounty does. Collect bounty and kick ass. Que se anima? But I know, guys. It's just my thing. Hey, look at a uh, Superman. Uh, he tries to live as a human being, not as a god. Look how Bruce Wayne is. And I know a lot of Batman fanboys, including my brother, not going to make. He already he has a weakness, but many fans they don't want to they don't want to admit it. He he still grieves to his uh, to his uh, parents. Yeah. So in other words, he's sad inside. Of course, Sam Azarin, she has PTSD, 